What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is 10 Farthings here, and today I'm bringing you a video that I didn't think I'd ever bring you. I'm bringing you a video with the Conjurer, that's right, the Conjurer, a magical seashell that you blow on and it gives you health. That's logic right there. Uh, anyway, this gameplay is a little bit about playing defense as soldier and how the Conjurer is no longer a joke. It's still, it's not 100% uh, foolproof, awesome weapon. I'm using it t all the time, every day, all day. Got one in my back pocket, ready to pull out any time. No, I'm saying it's now a viable option. Uh, remember, all of this is just my opinion, but whatever, let's get to it. Uh, so in case you don't know, a while back, the Conjurer got buffed, so it gets its buff, haha, <laughs> buff to get buff. Anyway, it gets its buff a lot faster, and now in the mechanic is that, or if this was the old mechanic, I don't exactly know. Uh, anyway, every time you hit someone, when you have the Conjurer buff, you get a little bit of health, which is great. Um, so something like this is really good when your team is playing defense, i.e. here. Uh, I came into this game a bit late, in fact, in the last five minutes, and that's why I'm recording the last five minutes. Uh, but I thought it was cool how we were able to hold them off even when they had an Uber medic who had at least two or three Ubers. I don't exactly remember, but they had a good amount of Ubers, and they had enough explosive glasses to be able to take out our sentry nest, and yet they couldn't get by us. They had two heavies. They had it all. It, it was really not a matter of classes. It was a matter of why can they not get past us. And they had a sentry back there in their place. I'm assuming a teleporter as well. This is the question. This is the question. And it was because of the people on our team were doing really well. And I was very proud of them for a pub game. Um, but uh, I, I actually wasn't uh, I wasn't carrying the team in this case, which was really nice. It's it's got to keep the team has to be not be on my back all the time. I mean. It's heavy up there, and I gotta like walk up the Thunder Mountain, and this is Thunder Mountain, the first stage. It's it's heavy walking up a giant mountain with a team on your back. Anyway, that was a completely random and obscure tangent. Uh, but the Conjurer now uh, is actually surprisingly useful. I've already let's see in however much time and so many ever many hits. I don't know. It doesn't take that much to charge it up. Once you charge it up, everyone around you is going to be very happy with you uh, if you're getting that little extra bonus. So I would recommend this weapon if you really aren't using your shotgun too much and you are not staying alive forever. The buff banner is when you're staying alive forever, when you can actually build up a charge if you're really good at staying alive and you're uh, not getting into too much conflict that is what the buff banner is for however if you are with a team a team scenario and you're not using your shotgun at all because I don't know why you haven't discovered how awesome a shotgun is use the Contra put it on slap it on for fun uh, it's it's a, it works I mean it's kinda like the black box you can you get that little extra survivability it's, the buff is surprisingly helpful and it's it can be kinda fun to run if anything, if you don't want to try it for any of the reasons I've said so far, just try it to have a little fun and uh, explore, because that's what I've been doing recently. Recently, when it comes to TF2, I've been trying to explore new classes so I can get you guys something different, uh, something new. Anyway, we're going to come to the end of this real quick, but you got to give this video a like, otherwise the magical seashell fairy uh, will not come and visit you in the night, and you'll be totally bummed out. Your face will just be so red when all your friends have like awesome magical seashells, and you don't. So you don't want to be that guy. Uh, and my finals are almost over, so that means I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos, hopefully. Yay, everyone likes that. All right, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.